All right, so if you guys have been watching the last couple videos, by the way, if you haven't seen them, they're really good. We had Tess and Lawn Ginger here. We're doing Brett's yard here. And actually, this is what it looks like slightly over a week later. And I'm gonna show you a few really good things here. But carrying on and where we left off in the last video, we had just finished all the prep work and we were into day two. And day two started and pretty much carried on with me down in a hole. All right, y'all, welcome to day two. And uh, make sure you watch the Ginges video as well as Brett's video because you'll see different perspectives on this job, which I think will be cool for you guys. Um, but I got a little bit different of a job today. By the way, link in the description below. This is the very best tool you can get for leveling a lawn. Only $49.95 available at yardmastery.com. Anyway, uh, I wasn't driving the skid steer, so I can't be blamed for this, but Quite a bit of the irrigation got wet yesterday. The valves are right here. So the water supply is over there. And then the valves are right here. So when he was coming in and scraping up, he actually ended up lifting up this whole section. So a bunch of these completely broke off. So I got that, but the hard part or the more serious part is over here on the supply side. So I've already cut this out. I can get a slip coupler that's rated to be on the supply side. And then also the electrical supply line to the valves got cut. The good news there is we have Airman Nicholas, who he doesn't like being on camera too much, but I'm gonna embarrass him right now. <laughs> this is, yeah, this is his uh, deal. He did this kind of stuff in the Air Force, so he's gonna, Hot mop, is that? No, that's not the right word. Hot mopping, it sounds cool though. Anyway, he's gonna connect up all the wires. Maybe, do all the... I don't know. If you put that in the video, I might not. <laughs> so. He's like the only one with any real knowledge. We're just all fake lawn guys. If I were the man I was five years ago, I'd take a flamethrower to this place! Nick is fixing here. So he's almost done with that. I got the patch done here on the main line on the water on the water side or pressure side, but as I was fixing over here. I lifted up a little bit too hard on one of these and old pipe just snapped. So now I've got to replace the valve. So I've ex excavated back past the valve so I can put a coupler on there. Now I need to go get a new valve because these are all cemented in there so you can't get them out. So that need a new one. It's not like these are anything too expensive. These are little cheap ones anyway, but just another thing I got to do. And then I can finish the rest of that, fixing those broken pipes there. Meanwhile, Brett's been working hard over here. Just finished park strut. Look at it, it's looking good. It's looking beautiful. One hour later. All right, well, there's Nick's final product. All good. Now I'm gonna fix the valve, replace the valve I broke. One hour later. I hear flow.
No leaks. No leaks. No leaks. Supply side, no leaks. Yeah, we're good. Okay, well that's good. That has been a real headache. So, janky patch job, but that's what happens when you have brittle old pipe. It just keeps breaking on you. So while I've been fighting with irrigation, these guys have been getting sod done. And uh, it's going in nice. Looking solid. Peston Lawn Ginger putting in work today. Playing it, bro. Yeah, man. Playing he it. hasn't stopped all day. That's what I do. He didn't even eat today. Caffeine and Chipotle. <laughs> I can't eat Chipotle or I'll be on the toilet the rest of the day. So this is Bimini Bermuda. And uh, this has previously only been available as, as sports turf, mostly golf courses. It's just now getting released to residential. And uh, a couple of the nice things about it is, it is cold tolerant, more cold tolerant than most Bermuda. So you can run this up through Georgia, Alabama, areas like that. Now we have it here in South Florida, which is gonna be fine, but cold tolerance is a nice thing. It's also got a really dense root system and so therefore a really tight canopy. So it's gonna have a really nice uniform look as well as you could reel mow it if you wanted to. That's what he's gonna do here. And then it's also known for its wear tolerance, which is one of the reasons why they like it on golf courses. So we're actually gonna go out to a golf course here and take a look at some bimini that's been installed for quite some time. those roots John Perry now here you can see a core sample and just look at how fat those roots are about five inches deep now keep in mind this was only planted in May and it was sprigged not sodded so from sprigs to now it's developed five inch double fat roots there you go there's the ability to self-repair so again we don't know how old this is but you can still see you can see new stolons pushing across there and just filling back in that area that was you know dug out with the club so right here we're using this as kind of a, a shot they're setting up back there now we're using this as a shot to show that bimini is really good with high traffic so you can see a ton of you know uh, divots in here but what the idea is is that there's a lot of carts that come in and out of here like every day because this is where people are laying up. So they tee off from over there and their approach is there. And you can see, like you can't really tell the difference in the fairway here and anywhere else, even though carts are constantly driving across this. As you guys know, I don't have a ton of experience with Bermuda. I grew some in St. Pete from seed and learned a lot with that. Boy, did I learn a lot. And uh, done a little bit over at my church, which is just common Bermuda. Mess at my friend Chris's house, common Bermuda. But uh, getting Brett this beautiful bimini is really going to give us something to start adding content to. And man, he's going to reel mow it too. So, By the way, I want to say I know a lot of you, in my last video, I kind of made fun of reel mowing. Please don't take that seriously. Some of y'all, I think you take it too seriously. Just having a little bit of fun. But Brett is going to be carrying the reel mowing tradition on for yard mastery. Okay, 5.30, sun is down, definitely in the home stretch now. This is all gonna be landscape bed over here, so coming true here. There we are, kids already getting everything 
Broken in good. We are almost there. couple of two three days later okay we are at the final day and actually this is uh, Saturday so two days after we're sit, finished the sod Brett is over here still doing final touch-ups around the corners and edges cleaning up this is all gonna be a bed so he's gonna live edge this for now we'll see how long that goes but pretty much everything else is done so the last thing we need to do is put down some starter for it now starter fertilizer is kind of a marketing term but it does tell you something and what it should tell you is is that a good starter fertilizer will have all three of the macronutrients in P and K, but it's gonna be higher in the FOS, the P, because that is what is going to push roots. And that's really the most important thing that you want when you're starting with sod or seed, is you wanna get roots because it takes roots to support top growth. So roots are number one, and that's why we apply something that is higher in P. Now you have two choices. You could actually put it on the dirt before you lay the sod, which would have been ideal for me, but I was over there playing in a hole the whole time fixing the irrigation, so I wasn't able to do that. So we went ahead and laid the sod, and I'm going to put the starter fert on now. And we just need to make sure it gets watered in, which will be fine. So for starter fert, I'm going with the tried and true. Here it is there, see? 16, 21, 2. It's got all the macros, but the 21, the FOS, that's the highest. A lot of people don't know, this also contains the liquid aerate in here, which is the potassium hydroxide, as well as it's got a little bit of humic acid and a little bit of kelp to get the microbes going. But on top of that, I'm gonna go ahead and hit it with Secret Weapon Seek. This is a new product we just released. This is actually in a gallon. You guys are only available to get it in quartz currently. This is a highly concentrated, basically, sea kelp, but it's actually the hormones from the kelp, and it's very low use. 0.5 ounces per thousand, that's it. So we're gonna go real low with it, but that's just gonna help jumpstart everything a little bit faster because we have cooler temperatures here, so I really need to jumpstart the microbes, kind of kick them in and that's what the CK is gonna do. So 15 ounces per thousand here on the green pop and one half ounce per thousand here on the seek. And then I'm gonna do it out of the two gallon sprayer just because I got a nice flood jet tip here that I can get a lot of square footage out of even with this two gallons. So I'm gonna fill her up, spray and pray. So here we are, this is, uh, well actually it's one week after I did the starter fert. It's about nine days after we finished laying the sod. But I don't know if it's gonna show on the camera, but this looks so good. This looks better than 99% of established Bermuda lawns, established Bermuda lawns. So obviously we still have a few seams and everything in here, but the color is just gorgeous. And that is just this grass type. And then again, it's growing. He's actually, Brett's over there already enjoying it. Kids are already enjoying it. but. Brett's actually already mowed it to once just to knock the high spots down. We already have solid domination. I mean, that's nice. It's already rooted, and that just shows how aggressive this bimini is. Look at that. I can't even pull this up. So, so you're just checking the roots? Yeah, so, well, so I, I had to fix the sprinkler the other day, so check this out. Already. Oh, yeah, look at those little babies. Look how many of those suckers are popping out already. Look at all those roots, John Perry. It's only been like barely a week. The Green County Green Pop Fertilizer, along with the CK and lots of water, is a real winner when it comes to tons of roots very quickly, and that's so important for new sod. Links in the description below. So there you go. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video, this little series here of us getting sod done over here at Brett's house. I'll link below to the other videos because he's done a video on it, as well as I'm pretty sure by the time I get this published, Jared the Pest and Lawn Ginger will also have a video, video or two or 10 out. So I'll link to all those below so you can kind of see the whole project from everybody's different viewpoint. With that, I hope this series has been enjoyable for you. I hope you have a Merry Christmas. I'm Alan Hain, the Lawn Care Nut, and I'll see you in the lawn.